Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're going to have a look on uh, what is going on here on Bitcoin and also at the S&P 500 because currently we have a breakdown from this potential bearish pattern that we were in in the S&P 500. So we're going to have a look on that and also how is the impact on uh, Bitcoin and overall the crypto space. But before we start, re a reminder don't forget to tune in on the World Series of Trading. So if you want to register on the event, make sure that you pre-register already now. The link you find down below here in the video description, because first you have to sign up on Bybit. If you still don't have an account, you find the link down below here. With my link, you can get some rewards and sign up bony. No KYC, nothing, just your email and that's it. And then also sign up to the event, because if you sign up already now, within the next six days, you will get some early bird bony, like $60 here and also some rewards bony of $90. So make sure to already register now. And once the event is going to start, you can also sign up to my team. Just watch out for the team name at the Cryptos Avengers. That's our team name. So make sure to participate on the next event as well, because you will pay less fees during trading. So it doesn't matter uh, if you anyway are trading, uh, you will pay less fees. It doesn't matter if you want to participate or not. You will benefit from all of this bony anyway, if you're trading. All right, and the next thing is that uh, don't forget that we're gonna do the $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway video uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm gonna select the winner of this week's $10 worth of uh, Bitcoin, which is sponsored by BTYARD. And also if you want to trade over on BTYARD, you find the link down below here to sign up to that exchange. Here you can trade Bitcoin and many other altcoins up to 100x leverage only using Tether. So here you don't have to own the coins, only with US dollar you can trade all of these coins over here. And I think with that said, I we can start with our daily TA on a Bitcoin. We can start here with the one hour time frame. Here you can see clearly the trend channel that we are in currently. So it's still shifted to the upside. And I think that the target here towards $9,900 is very likely to come. The thing is only that currently we are seeing a little pullback. And the question is, is this a trend reversal right now? Or is it just a correction? And it might be good to long now. It could be a good long opportunity and buy opportunity right now, especially uh, if we are going to test this 10K. And even if we are getting rejected here, you can put stop losses or take some profits over here and then wait if we are able to break through here or not because if not then the target would be to be again towards the 200 daily somewhere like there at around eight thousand five hundred dollar but currently it still looks like that 10k is in the cards and we're just seeing a little pullback here because here in the one hour, we're currently respecting here the blue trend line here, the support at around $9,500. We have RSI and Stochastic oversold. Here we still have a little bit of room left, but since here in the Bollinger Band, we came right to the bottom. I think we're seeing now a little breather towards the 9,570 level, so the midline. And there we have to see if we're able to break through or not, because here we are also still able to go towards 9,650 very easily. So I think right now you might have a nice long opportunity but we still have some room left to the downside uh, we we will have a look also in the four hour time frame because there it's more clear here in the one hour it looks like that we could be already at the bottom and we're gonna see a breather to the upside even though the MACD is still shifted to the downside maybe wait here for a bullish cross but now let's go over to the four hour because here you can clearly see that the 20 moving average so far is holding as a support and it's right at the trend line here so at this blue line and you can see that currently we didn't close any four hour candle didn't even wick below and that is a good sign so we are in theory still shifted to the upside stochastic is coming down to oversold condition rsi is also cooling off we had here a little uh, bearish divergence here because the RSI was equal here and uh, we had here a higher high so maybe this is gonna play out right now and although if you have a look here in the Bollinger Band in the four hour we can see that after overshooting it to the upside here we are retracing back down which is normal always also during a 
bull trend that we always come down to test uh, one of the supports and most of the times we are retracing back to the middle line in the Bollinger Band and then have a bounce from it so if you're waiting for the perfect entry then watch out for this 9440 potentially even down here towards 9250 it's still possible that we go down to these levels before we're gonna see another bounce to the upside i also have closed my long so far over on a btr so i'm waiting now to open up again a new position i still think we still have some room left to the downside that's why i closed it for now and now i'm waiting for a new entry to ride it up again towards 10 because also here the MACD is having a bearish cross so we could see the next couple of hours maybe the whole day so more pressure here to the downside and that's why I also want to have a look here in the four hour in the S&P 500 mini futures because here we are seeing currently the breakout from this uh, rising wedge that we had here in the last couple of days I told you that this is a bearish pattern and most likely we're going to break out here to the downside and the target in theory is down here towards $3,100 so so here we still have some room left to the downside most likely to test the 200 moving average in the four hour and if we switch over to the daily you can see that we have the 20 daily moving average right here at 3180 so in case that we're gonna lose here the 20 daily moving average which should hold as a support like it did here also in the past when you had these corrections but in case it doesn't hold then watch out for the 3100 dollar level even down towards the 3040 where the 200 daily moving average is lining up if the correction is going to be bigger than i think probably we will stop somewhere at around 3100 dollar because also we have the rsi uh, still above the 50 level so we could bounce here at the 50 in the rsi also bring the stochastic down to oversold condition but this is what we're going to have to see the fact is right now we are seeing the breakout and we're still at the beginning so we still have a lot of room left here to the downside and i think if the s p 500 is coming down towards the 20 daily maybe even down towards the 50 or 200 we're also going to see on bitcoin a major correction and also most likely overall in the crypto space especially in the altcoins a major correction and this could be a good buy opportunity if you still have to buy some altcoins so you don't have to fomo in later we most likely also gonna do a nice uh, little altcoin list uh, which uh, we recommend or at least the coins that our community over on discord recommends and also if you know some altcoins that are worth to give an eye on then please share it also in our free discord trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description feel free to share your opinions to some coins because right now i think it's good to start to buy in also some altcoins for the next bull run in case that you're interested also in buying some altcoins and i think it's not a bad idea to buy already now a little bit of altcoins if you want to own some for the next bull run better now than later when everything is pumping like crazy and that's why most likely we're gonna do a little list on some altcoins which i think are worth to buy and own some for the next run up and if we have a look also here in the daily time frame on bitcoin we can see that currently we are trading above the 50 and 20 daily moving average which are both more or less at around 9350 so it's likely also that we are coming down to retest these moving averages the important thing is that we're not going to close a daily candle below these moving averages we have the rsi still above the 50 which is good stochastic is overbought so it is possible that we might come down here to cool it off a little bit before we're gonna see another leg to the upside so i think right now we're seeing a good buy and long opportunity on the way down towards this 9400 dollar area and if we have a look in the bollinger band in the daily here also you can see that still yesterday we were overshooting it to the upside so a retracement back into the bollinger band was very likely to come and we could go even down towards 9300 dollar before we bounce from it and continue here this upwards trend so in case that you want to open up longs or buy some cheaper bitcoins and altcoins maybe wait that bitcoin is gonna retrace here towards 9400 to 9300 dollar only if we would close a daily candle below the middle line and below the 20 and 50 daily moving average then this could signal that we are in for a major correction possibly down again towards 9000 dollars so watch out for the daily closes 
So with that said guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you need an account where you can trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x, down below here in the video description, you find all the exchanges that I recommend you. With my links, you can get some sign up bonus and also support the channel. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we see us all in the next one. Bye.